Welcome to Hoops IQ. Today we're going to be grading Bronny James Jr. in his first summer league game with the Los Angeles Lakers. And his grade will start out as a C. Let's find out where he ends up. They're going to come up and set this left side ball screen. Bronny can go under or over. He chooses to go over, gets that foot in front, does a good job getting his chest right there, makes good chest to shoulder contact right there, takes the hit and gets right back up and gets in the defender's face. Then they get a deflection. This is good energy, tough defense. And then Bronny doesn't get the pass and the finish, but he goes immediately to his teammate and gets a touch. Look at this touch right here. Gets that touch. Those are so important to help your teammate energy. Here he is off the ball screen, takes away the screen right here, stepping over it, and then riding his man down into this double team, trapping him at the baseline, forcing this only into a baseline shot. That's his only option. And then a good contest. I'd like to see him ride the player just a little bit more, but he understands what he's doing. Now pushing the ball up here, he's gonna get a ball screen. And this is it, this is where he's gonna be most effective. Off this ball screen, man goes under, he comes back around so that they can re-screen, boom. And then he takes advantage of the drop coverage here. Big man's in drop coverage. His man's get stuck, on, get stuck on the screen and boom, he's gonna go right up into his shot. Look at him rise up. This is a perfect area to shoot from and a nice shot. And this is all we're looking for. We're just judging good shot, bad shot. Whether it goes in or not, it does not matter at this point. We want good shots. And now he's up to a B grade. Look at Bronny here on the strong side here. He kind of gets stuck in between these two players. The ball's on the wing and he's stuck in between. He needs space. He's telling them right now, get up, get space. So instead of counting on the ball handler to do that, he then makes this nice back cut. This is just a good read and good awareness. This is great basketball IQ. He also hits this little brush screen as he does that, which then is gonna open up the shot and create space to make a play. And this, is, and this is what we love to see. This is just exactly what you want to see from young players. You want to see that they understand the game. Here he is on an inbounds play, and this is where he gets lost defensively. He's got to pay more attention. Gets hit with a back screen here and gets stuck on that high side or low side there. We want him to be on the high side in between ball and man to take away this type of cut. So he gets here off the dribble handoff and that's when you're gonna get hit by that brush screen. Now he's jumping, doesn't really know what's happening here. He does a good job getting his feet back in front, body in front, but now he's gotta get that hand out. Right here, a hand has to be out to make it uncomfortable to get into that shot. If he just had that hand out right now, he'd be able to take that away. Instead, he's trying to go meet him at the top He's gonna jump up there and try and meet him. If he just put that hand out, he'd be in perfect shape. So I gotta give him the defensive breakdown there. Here, Bronny's in a help position on the drive. He's gonna stunt in just a little bit there, get a hand in, and this just shows his strength. Like the upper body strength is insane. Good, tough D. These are the types of plays I love to see. Here we are on a rebound. We get a quick transition pushing out. Bronny's sprinting down the court, and this is the what the Lakers need. A lot of quick action and ball movement from high IQ players. Here the ball is given up to him here on the wing, and he barely even touches it before giving it right back up. This is what confuses uses defenses, makes it very difficult to guard strong athletic players like this. And this is what opens up this nice drive. Just high IQ, unselfish basketball by Bronny James. Now going back to the defensive end, here's Bronny on ball. They're gonna pass it inside here to the high post and then cut off of it. Bronny has to do a great job of stepping in front of his man and getting skinny through this screen. They will do this all day long in the NBA. High post pass, looking over the top to make this pass underneath and he's late to get his hand up. So no bump and then late to get your hand up. They're gonna hit those back door cuts and that really uh, with a better player is a finish right there at the rim. Now Bronny's at the top of your screen here on the wing and here comes a drive and kick, but the kick's just a little bit too late. His man's inside, he's out of position. The kick comes too late. It forces Bronny to get into a jab step and shot. Is it a good shot though? Yeah, it's a good shot. I'd just rather see him actually catch and shoot off a good pass. Now he's here in help position, gotta go close out on this shot, and he does a great job getting up to close out and jumping to ball side, trying to get past the defender and not fall into him. And the leg kick here is kicked out, and Bronny gets called for the foul, but they challenge it, and Bronny wins the challenge. 
Now they're gonna run a ball screen here, kick out to Bronny here on the wing. Once he catches, he gets into a position where he looks to attack. And I like the read here, looking to attack, but doesn't see that he has good space as the defender steps in here and help. There's no gap there for him to attack on. So he's very patient and he holds onto the ball for just a second here and then decides to get the attack to get the kick out. You can tell he's only attacking the kick out, takes a strong dribble in and then a solid pass once the defender steps in and gives an on time on target pass. Here's the closeout, and now they're gonna get into the paint again because of the bad closeout that Bronny actually created off of that nice kick out. They get into the paint again. His help defender is all the way in the paint, and Bronny's wide open for the three. This pass is a little late, it's off target. He's throwing the ball at a little bit of a lob, and then it's off target as well. This should be a nice catch and shoot, but regardless, Bronny's gotta knock this one down. This is wide open, but it is a good shot. Back on defense here, Bronny's in help. He's playing on the weak side here, staying underneath, and then he's gotta get out to his shooter. So he's playing this weak side position in the paint, and then he's gotta get out on this weak side shooter. He's reading the drive here. So he takes a step up, still sees his man, turns his head to see his man, probably a little bit high here, but he's cutting off these passes. But you can see he does this like a safety in football. He does a great job reading these and being super active with his feet and hands. And in this case, they're trying to force it here and he knows it and he's able to react very quickly, get his hands in front and get in front of this for a steal. And then as soon as he gets the ball under control here, he doesn't just fly up the court and force it all by himself. He notices that his man's running the lane and he's gonna be more open than Bronny. So he does a great job giving up the ball in great open space on time, on target again, so that his man can go in and make a play. In this case, he makes a great extra pass and finish, all caused by that great steal and giving up the ball on time. That is so important. And now as they finally get a play set up for him, as Bronny's down here in the corner, they're gonna run this high post pass, a runoff, and then a down screen as Bronny comes up. He's locked on Bronny here in the corner. And then here as the down screen comes, he's gonna get up and over this. Look at him stay real nice and tight off the screen. Boom, tight off the screen. And he continues to run through, getting tight off of the handoff. This dribble handoff, very nice keeping his defender on his back and he starts to curl that immediately. No space in between for there for him to get through there and Bronny James curls it nicely, reading the defense. If they're gonna come in and help, he can make that pass outside, but he steps over the top nicely and then finishes it high off the backboard. He could have made the lob pass as well, but great finish high off the backboard. And now he gets a chance to come off of this ball screen once again, where he's gonna be effective. He does a great job coming around this ball screen, using it nicely, keeps little space in between there, gets to the elbow, and now he's reading the defenders, the man behind him, keeping him on his hip, the man in front of him who's in drop coverage. And so he doesn't challenge him at the rim. He gets to that open space into a nice step back. And then look how he rises up and gets above the defender, a nice high jump shot, little fade, high set point and then he's able to get this shot off very easily. I mean, that is a rhythm shot. He practices that thousands of times and he's gonna be able to get to that over and over and knock it down. Here is Bronny sits corner. They're running at just a little ball screen action there at the top. And as the drive comes in and his man comes in to help, there, Bronny's open for the kick out. Yet again, this pass is not that great as both defenders get caught inside here. Here's the pass. It's not on time. It's not on target. So he does a good job adjusting. Possibly stepped out of bounds right here. I don't know. The, the coach's staff on the bench there goes wild. But he does a good job getting into his spot. Staying under control. Takes the contact. Yep, keeps the ball behind nicely, pushes that man off. And now again, he's gonna go rise up above two defenders and get this high set point jumper. It's a beautiful looking shot. And he's just gonna rep this over and over and over. And he's gonna be able to knock that down. The most important thing is that he gets to the spot and he can rise up above everyone. It looks beautiful. He's gonna be able to knock that down. 
And here Bronny gets caught ball watching. He's here on the wing and his man is in corner. He's too high. His head is turned towards ball. He's not paying attention to what his man is doing. He's able to adjust with his athleticism and still get a hand on this, deflect the pass. But again, now he's like kind of jumping all over the place and he really needs to just play solid D and keep the hands in the passing lanes. And here, look at him run out in transition here. Off of the rebound, he's flying down the court, beats everyone down the court, gets to his spot here in the corner, and he's anticipating this corner kick out. So once this kick out happens, he's already ready to make this extra pass. He's reading this defender on the low side who's closing out on him, and he makes that extra pass, which sets up an open drive for his teammate. Excellent play. Now off of this dribble penetration, this player has multiple angles to make kick out passes. It comes to Bronny. He's reading the defender to his left here, who's closing out on him. And again, an excellent extra pass. It's such a simple thing, but he could have drove in here, but he makes that extra pass, setting up his other teammates with excellent shots, passing up good for great. Now Bronny James is driving towards the baseline here and he doesn't get around his defender, but he doesn't force up a bad shot. He's stuck here. He either needs to pivot back or get through to the baseline. He does, makes the pass with the kick out, flying out of bounds a little bit out of control there, but he stays engaged in the game and he's always active. Here off of this shot, it gets deflected and he's the first one to the ball. Boom, right to the ball and he has a nose for the ball. So he does a great job going and attacking it. And now he needs to just settle down because he gets into the paint here and kind of stumbles around, was a little indecisive, didn't know whether to shoot or pass there. And now Bronny's down in the corner. He's gonna step up and lift up off of this ball screen, off of the roll. You're gonna get the kick out because this man has to come in and help. And off of the catch here, he knows he has his man beat closing out. So he does a good job reading this and then taking advantage of it with a little jab step, getting to his spot, pull behind, and then rising up again into this shot. And this is what it should look like as he knocks it down. And again, he's always ahead of everyone in transition, sprinting down the sideline. In this case, he gets ahead of the defense here and then goes and attacks the rim hard and gets fouled on his way to the basket. Going back on D here, he's stepping inside the paint, trying to help underneath the big man. He's the tagger in this case, as they double team the ball. So he's staying underneath there, but he does a great job again, reading where his man is and getting that side to side movement and deflection once again, his hand on the ball. And here he is again defensively at the top of your screen and he's chasing over the top of this dribble handoff. Now as he gets around this and recovers, he's got to get his body connected with the man. He does a great job recovering, but then he just starts to kind of put his hand up and slide past the man, being a little bit overly aggressive and not disciplined. That takes him out of the play and then he's jumping around, which makes it easy for them to pump fake, be patient and not down shots. This is the only shot that I think he forced just a little bit coming up and lifting off of the same play again catches here and he kind of stutters one two before shooting it. I feel like this was just a little bit of a forced shot. He needs to step up and just shoot the ball. And then on defense here, he redeems himself by coming inside as the tagger on the roll, being there underneath the big, and then recovering quickly, getting right out here to his man off of this kick out pass, closing out, and then sitting low and sliding his feet to get in front and get chest on the ball. Just beautiful defense. You see the ref almost reacts like he's gonna call a foul, but then realizes it was just beautiful defense with his chest in front. So Bronny ends up with an I thought it was an excellent game. Let me know what grade you think he should get.